solution to this problem x squared minus x cube equals 12 okay looking at what we have on the left we already know what to do with 12 here x to the power of 3 equals 12 can be 4 plus 8 this is because 4 is 2 squared and 8 is 2 cubed right here we still have our x to the power of 3 and here we have our 2 now this is like this and this is like this so let us rearrange and then we will have x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 then we have minus x cube minus here we have 2 to the power of 3 and this is 0 x squared minus 2 squared can be dealt with then here we have minus okay if you like you remove this one it does not change anything so we have from um, here we're going to have x to the power of 3 then this will turn to plus plus 2 to the power of 3 then we equate to 0 okay permit me to remove this so that it will not confuse us x squared minus minus 2 to the power of 3 then minus x cube plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. This is the difference of 2 squares, right? Okay, this is supposed to be a square. Difference of 2 cubes. And this is addition of 2... Addition of 2 cubes, difference of 2 squares. Now, for, for this, we're going to have x minus 2 into x plus 2 then minus for this one we're going to have x plus 2 into x squared minus a okay minus x times 2 it's supposed to be x times 2 then plus b squared which will now be 2 squared everything here is equal to 0 x minus 2 into x plus 2 common factor then minus here we have open bracket x plus 2 into here we have x squared minus 2 times x that will be 2x then plus 4 everything equals 0 x plus 2 is here and it's over there right so it comes out as the common factor here i have x minus 2 then minus the whole of this which is x squared minus 2x plus 4 then we equate to 0 now the next thing is to open what we have in the bracket x plus 2 is here then here now we open the bracket we'll now have x minus 2 minus x squared plus 2x minus 4 then this is equal to 0 x plus 2 into okay I want to write this one first write minus x squared write then um, if that comes out x plus this will give us plus 3x right then minus 2 minus um, minus 4 that will give us um, minus 6 and then we equate to 0 we can confirm this again this came first then we have x plus 2x 3x then minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 so this means that our x is equal to 0 okay our x plus 2 
is supposed to be equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 0 minus 2. And our x is equal to minus 2. This is one of the solutions. Okay. And to get the other solution, we are going to work with this. Remember, we had x minus x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. To eliminate this bracket, I mean this negative, we will multiply everything by negative 1. That will turn this to positive x squared minus 3x, then plus 6 equals 0. And by now, you should be able to remember our formula method. Okay, the formula for solving quadratic equation. x is minus b plus or minus... We have b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Okay, so our, our b now is going to be minus 3, right? If we put it here, it will make this to be positive. So our x is equal to 3 plus or minus. Then we have minus 3 squared but if we do not put this in bracket it will give us a wrong answer minus 4 times 1 times 6 right because a is 1 and c is 6 divided by 2 times 1 okay let us continue okay so our x will now be 3 plus or minus we have minus 3 squared, that will give 9, then minus, okay, we have 4 times 1 times 6, that will be 24. Then we divide this by 2. Then our x from here will now be 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 24 will give us 15. That would be negative 15 rather. Then we have this over 2. So that our x will now be 3 plus square root of 15 multiplied by i because of the negative over 2. Or 3 minus square root of 15 multiplied by i divided by 2 but we can rearrange this so that x will be 3 plus i root 15 divided by 2 or we have 3 minus i root 15 divided by 2 remember this right here are two solutions and before now we already had our x to be equal to negative 2. So this right here are the three solutions.